Nazis. Few players are using, you know, opening up their king side space like it's um, a normal practice. Let's just attack the knight. Obviously, the knight's not going to want to be taken. Going to take the knight. Let's castle before the bishop gets us. Yeah, like we said, let's just move the rook out of the way. Let's push the center, maybe try and take some advantage of this at some point. Let's just grab here for now. Simply take. And let's get the bishop out. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece usually can't be wrong in this situation. It's attacking the rook, so let's just do that. capture and let's just develop the knight a little bit make space for him maybe a exchange yeah it's not happy having any of that so let's just simply attack it anyway I want to bring his pawn back into line so he'll bring the rook here give him time to that's not doing that it's coming to attack the pawn could attack his knight attack the knight again then attack the bishop and the knight unless of course the knight's coming here Looking okay, let's attack the bishop and the knight. I think the knight probably should have gone there, shouldn't it, for an even exchange of some sort. Continuing the attack is attacking our knight, which can be defended, the pawn can take. So we can take the, unless of course there's a fork of some sort that I'm missing. Yes, let's just take the bishop. So I don't think he's going to want to exchange now, is he? Okay, let's take it off the board. Move the king closer, maybe. It's probably coming down from the pawn here. But that does mean I might have to babysit. Oh, it's not doing that. Uh, let's go here. It's coming across. Put a check on the king. Oh, he's got a free pawn. Rook's in the center of the board, but he's also got this space as well. So if we go and put a check on this king comes down, attacks, where do we go? So I might need to have that one in the back pocket. He can always come and attack the knight again. So if we close down his space, he doesn't have many options, does he? I mean, he can go up one. have a fearsome looking set of pawns on this side and he's got whoa he's got a passer on this side so we have a lot to really worry about I think <laughs> oh dear. king 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 
I don't think he's going to allow us that though, is he? He's going to get to this point here. King. King. Yeah, like I said, he's not going to allow us that. Just looking to push this up and up and up, just get it as far up as possible. And looking at combinations of stuff. Um, oh, he's going to get there in time, but the king can block him. Just push. Push. So looks like he's not wanting to risk any of these pawns at the moment. Our king can't get here. We can sit here now with the king quite nicely. Could look to attack the pawn because then he's got two pawns to think about. Pawn pushes down. We take the pawn with a check. Or he just moves his king across and the king takes the pawn in the center. Okay, let's attack this pawn. goes dead we wouldn't want to take with a check his king comes down for the knight take with a check king comes down for the knight knight can take the pawn here and we're giving them too much space these pawns he's not having any of that so we're going to take protection from the king and we're on this pawn as well takes so I'm going to take the pawn so it gives us a bit of freedom with these pawns here now it's pushing down so we're gonna to have to and if we put a check on his king just goes in the corner and blocks the pawns off doesn't it okay Gonna have to do some fancy footwork now. Oh, and they've resigned. Interesting bit of development there.